Hey guys, Dr. B here. Wanted to bring you another quick video today. And I'd like to talk a little bit about ankle sprains. So there's a couple types of ankle sprains. Your common ankle sprain, which is usually an inversion sprain, but it can be eversion. Uh, but also the high ankle sprain, the dreaded high ankle sprain. Uh, everyone hopes that they don't get this type of sprain. So let's kind of go into the differences um, in this video. And then if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me after the fact. So. The common ankle sprain is usually, like I said, either an inversion sprain, which is where your foot normally goes into what we call plantar flexion and inversion, where it kind of tilts medially inward towards the middle part of your body, or an eversion sprain, where your ankle joint shifts laterally outwards like this to the lateral part of your body. Um, oftentimes, the ligaments which are there to support the ankle are affected, in particular, the anterior talofibular ligament, um, is affected and usually you know with a common ankle sprain I mean we've all had one you know if, especially if you play any type of you know sports such as football or basketball you know or soccer you've probably experienced some type of you know strain um, to your ankle uh, in the past so um, now usually recovery time is roughly about six weeks um, as long as there's not uh, you know a complete tear of any of those ligaments and you know significant uh, joint instability or ligament laxity now, on the other hand, the high ankle sprain takes much longer to heal. Somewhere in the neighborhood of about maybe eight weeks to even up to six months. And the reason that this ankle sprain takes so long to heal is because it affects a different area of the quote unquote ankle joint. So you have your tibia, which is your shin bone, and right next to it you have your fibula. And then those two bones are basically um, connected to the ankle at the talus bone. And so these two bones, the fibula and the tibia, are connected through an interosseous membrane, which is a very kind of fibrous uh, membrane that connects the two bones together and kind of keeps them from pulling apart too much. Now, oftentimes in a high ankle sprain, it's injured during some type of uh, twisting maneuver where you have like a sheer force and it basically just rips that membrane or stretches it too far, causing a sprain. But also, if you have too much what we call dorsiflexion, which is where your foot, you know, you're basically your toes point towards the ceiling and they come too close and they basically close that gap between the tibia, the fibula, and then your ankle, that can also cause a force on, those, on that interosseous membrane that can sprain it as well. Now, um, with both types of injuries, you know, you may have some pain and swelling, but oftentimes the best way to kind of diagnose um, a high ankle sprain versus a common you know, ankle sprain would be the squeeze test. With the squeeze test, basically, you wrap your you know, hands around the tibia and the fibula and you squeeze. And oftentimes, if you have pain in that area above the actual um, ankle joint itself where the lateral and medial malleoli are, that's a good indicator that you may have a high ankle sprain versus um, a common ankle sprain. Also, usually with a common ankle sprain, the swelling is localized around that lateral kind of malleolus area. And there's usually pinpoint tenderness there. So I hope this video was informational. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on Instagram at SportsPod or Twitter at TheSportsPod, hashtag AskDrB. Have a good one.